Hi, Jake. You ready for this excitement? Sure. This is the combined off-road adventure in my forerunner to Argentine Pass and Mount McClellan with my son, Dan, and my grandchildren, Bryn and Jake. After stopping in Georgetown for some last chance refreshments, we drove to the trailhead and aired down. Six miles, wow, yeah, that's a long way. That's just to the Waldorf side. That could be pretty cold up there, Brian. Big bump. It's cool, a big bump is not that, <laughs> not that, <laughs> bad. Not that bad in this thing. Back. Car coming. There's so many places where I'm like, oh, you're, oh, you're a little car with this. <laughs> I would, <die>. yes. <laughs> like this, there's no way. And probably had plenty of room over that. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. I've seen people do it. I'm gonna give it a try. Here we go. He's gonna drive up that. That's crazy. Can I go around to the to the left? Okay. Yeah, that was good. Camera Freaky actually though. working. <laughs> 
That was kind of scary. Yeah, that was tough. You had a, you had more room on the right side. You went really far left. Oh, did I? Yeah. Oh, okay. You had a, but it was hard to tell because those big rocks. Yeah, I couldn't see. Yeah. So. We're way up high, Brand. Way up there. Oh, there's snow right there. Crazy. Yep. How you doing, Brand? You scared? No. Well, you should be. <laughs> this is pretty crazy. <laughs> it's pretty scary. <laughs> Get that clinch action. Ooh. You feel the difference in air up here? Uh, I mean, the altitude, I'm having problems catching my breath. Uh, yeah. Here we are. We're at the pass. Ooh. Yeah, that's cold. I can tell the altitude up here. You can. Yeah, I'm a little, uh, <laughs> little dizzy. Well, we're at the top of Argentine Pass, thirteen thousand one thirty-two. Didn't have the view I was hoping for, but oh well. Yeah. You'd have been scared. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you scaring Bryn? Nah, she's fine. The Santiago Mill is an increasingly rare example of an early to mid 20th century American flotation mill located on National Forest System lands. It is one of the last complete Depression era mills standing. The mill itself contains remnants of milling equipment from the 1930s through the 1950s. The 3700 gallon water tower, critical to the flotation process, is found northeast from the mill. This tower was filled by a piping system from snowmelt collection higher up the slope and another welded pipe a half mile long that pumped water from the town of Waldorf below. Get out and look in front of the truck to see. 